Welcome to Megger's technical support videos. Here we will show you the different contents and uh, options that you have on the report that comes out of a CT tested with the MRCT unit. After we finish testing, we are presented with the CT test report. The CT test report is divided in sections and uh, over here you find the um, equipment related um, information. Uh, here you find the date, the ambient temperature, humidity, uh, the test status, whether the test was uh, a pass or not, asset ID, the job number, uh, the substation, position, etc. You can, fa you can change the, uh, this top section here by classifying the test as uh, an asset owner or a uh, testing company. Uh, you can do that in the settings. Um, down here you find the nameplate data. The nameplate data coincides with the information for the nameplate that uh, we input in the nameplate section, nameplate section of the settings. The next area uh, co consists of the information regarding the ratio uh, values obtained during the test and the errors obtained if we configured the nameplate information for the ratio on the different tabs then we will get a calculation of the error represented um, by the difference between the measured values and the actual nameplate values. We get the voltage at which those ratio tests were done and the current that uh, was circulating in the secondary for that tab at that moment. We get also the primary uh, voltage at which the ratio was calculated. We also get information on the knee uh, point of the different curves. We get the phase deviation and uh, polarity, whether the polarity is correct or incorrect we get the resistance since uh, we did a full test we also get the winding resistance and we get the resistance corrected at uh, 75 degree Celsius we get the insulation resistance results since we also performed an insulation resistance test here we have the possibility of adding insulation test results uh, because sometimes you do not do the test the insulation uh, resistance test using the insulation resistance tester on the unit and you have results from a, from a different unit or if you want to perform additional insulation tests you can add uh, those results here and you simply uh, type the, those results over here. Down, uh, if we scroll a little bit down we get the uh, excitation curves for the different tabs they're color coded so uh, for instance the X1, X5 is uh, pink and uh, it's the one on top over here the values for the different uh, knee points shown in this logarithmic graph coincide with the knee points uh, calculated and shown on the previous graph we can choose whether we want to display the saturation test data or not if we display it then we can find it on a table in the next page and uh, we can choose to copy the table information into a CSV for further use for example to plot these curves in Excel and do some calculations over over there we could choose not to display such information in uh, which case the report would be a little bit shorter because it will not contain that uh, table. Down here we can uh, add the name of the person who did the test and the test equipment used will show, this is a simulation but if you're using a real instrument the test equipment used here will show the serial number of the test equi equipment that uh, was used. Um, if we continue scrolling down, we find tables for the ratio and phase 
errors in this case we have it only for uh, the X1 to X5 tab if we want to show it for all of the other tabs either the primary or the um, secondary tabs we uh, can uh, have them here um, for example in this case for clarity we only selected X1 to X5 uh, we could select let's say all the X1s the one that I have called uh, primary tabs or we can do it for all the auxiliary or secondary tabs like the X2, X3, X2, X4 etc. The more tabs we select here the longer the report uh, will be it will also be a more complete report because it will contain uh, more information contain information for each of the different individual tabs and it will contain the ratio and phase error the phase displacement error now all of these errors are shown at a percentage of the rated current for different VAs and uh, power factors on the instrument let's uh, go back and show only the um, one X1 to X5 that's the main tab let's say typically you would do it either for that tab or you would show the tab that is being used on the uh, current transformer down here you will find graphs uh, that represent the tables that uh, we have over here now uh, here we have the ratio error in percentage as a percentage at percentages of the rated current for different uh, loads at a power factor of 0.9 you can use these curves uh, in conjunction with um, electronic meters or relays to configure the um, correction factors that you can use in those instruments for the different uh, percentages of rated current to make the accuracy of the measurements uh, higher even when the CT is not absolutely accurate at all the different uh, percentages of uh, rated. You have uh, on the right here the phase displacement in minutes as a percentage of uh, rated current as well and in this, clay, in this case we are showing the parallelogram, they call it the ANSI parallelogram which show the where the CT is uh, in phase displacement and minutes and uh, ratio correction factor uh, for uh, a 10 percent of rated current that would be the red uh, parallelogram over here or at the 100 percent of uh, rated current which would be the blue parallelogram uh, over here any uh, location of the point here for a particular CT inside the 100% uh, rated current parallelogram would mean that the CT is in good condition um, inside the 10% rated current that means that you have to deal with a little bit of a higher uh, error in that, uh, in that case and uh, down here we have a nameplate assessment and um, current ratio error is a pass, phase error is a pass and the class is a, is a pass. If we classify the CT not as a metering CT but as a protection CT we will see that the ANSI parallelogram will disappear since it is only uh, that uh, number is or that parallelogram is only uh, relevant for metering type CTs. CTs so when you have a combined type and you want that parallelogram to show up you have to classify it as metered put there the metering classification of the CT in the settings right here it is possible to select whether we want to show or not the different tables that we just saw for example here we can select whether we want to show the ratio error tables that we saw the ratio error graphs, the phase displacement table, phase displacement graph, the ANSI metering parallelogram, the nameplate assessment etc. Uh, for instance if I deselect here the nameplate assessment we will see that it will not be shown 
on the report anymore. It's down here, well, it was there, now it's not. We can choose what to do with the report. Another thing you can do with the report is that you can introduce your company's logo over here on the right. For that, you go to Tools, Options, and here you have the logos. You have the logo on the left here, which is the mega logo. You can also change that one if you want. And the logo on the right, your company logo. I'm gonna just show an example of one that I, um, I I'm gonna use right here. Pictures. I created this one called uh, my logo. I just need to refresh the report in order to be able to see it. So this is my logo over here. I created the BMP and just put it all over there. This concludes our video on the contents and options of a report out of a CT tested with the MRCT unit.